Hey, it's Guard here, and for our new little camper, one of the first things you have to do when setting up camp with it is get it level. I mean, backing it into the spot and then making it level. And the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is with a couple of little levels. So I bought these. These are Levo Gauge 2. They're RV levels. And I like them because instead of a bubble, they got a little stainless steel ball in here. And it to me, that's a lot better than trying to look at a bubble. And they're black. I've already cleaned this area right here. This is like they come in a little two pack. It says to be over 60 degrees when you install them, and it's about 70 right now. So that should be good. And I'm gonna put one, one of them right here. And since this line is parallel to the floor that should be good for making it level and I'm just gonna stick it like right over here so we're gonna peel off it's got double stick tape on it some 3m VHB which is like very uh, high bond or pretty good stuff so we're just gonna get it and make sure up just like that give it a little press for about 30 seconds and I can see right now that I'm not level where I'm parked but I know that my right side is a little bit low on this so it, so it drains to the right so that's why if if I raise the one block over here I'd be level left to right on the camper so the next one we're going to do is on the side. I like putting it in the black. It kind of kind of disappears as, as it says, put it in the, in the white area. So that was uh, Deb's idea. She said, why don't I put it in the black? I said, yeah. All right. Deb also says you didn't hold it for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, okay. That was a quick 30 seconds. So the next one. Put in this black. We're going to put it right here in this black. I've already got it cleaned. I wiped it down with a little bit of alcohol. Peel off the sticker. Oops. And and by doing this, I'm just trusting that when they put the stickers on, they put them on nice and parallel to the floor, and I'm pretty sure they did. There'd be no reason why they didn't. So let's get that little, little push there. So, so now when I pull into a camp spot, a camping, a campground, if, if the camper was just like that, I'd say, okay, I need to raise this up so I can put one plastic block under there and then back it up to it, and it should be right there on zero. That's pretty good for us. You know, I mean, uh, we have a compressor refrigerator. That's just fine. I mean, that's hardly, I'm not even noticeable, really. But you might want to be more accurate. It's right there. On the side... Once you come over here, you can see that it's off a little bit. And all you got to do is have, have the wife say when it's level. And that's all you got to do is just do it like that and, and level it out so you can raise it or lower it. It's pretty simple and it doesn't look too bad. I'm curious if I can see that in the driver's seat of my Jeep. I went up to the Jeep and I looked in the rear view mirror to see if I could see that. I could just barely see this little ball. So, eh, it, it would be kind of helpful, but if I bought one of the bigger ones, the bigger ball, that would work pretty good. But this is nice. It's just kind of uh, unobtrusive. And most of the time, uh, Deb's going to be with me. We'll be backing it up. She, she can stand out here and let me know when it's right. But uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. So there's my new little level gauge twos. I got these on Amazon. And uh, just simple. Stick them on and forget pretty much. Just use them when you need them. And they're right there in the black. You hardly notice them too much. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.